ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Retro Gaming with Hopper. And as always, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, that's further than most people. Okay, today we're going to go through our tests on our machine to make sure everything is working and see if we find out find anything that we need to need to fix uh, which is fairly easy everything is done uh, with the coin door switches on the coin door and just testing everything and it'll self test uh, the displays and the solenoids but we have to test the switches and then we're going to program this machine right now it's set up that it it wants to just keep playing ball after ball after ball I mean I've been all the way to ball 12 and it still didn't end a game so we'll see if it's in the settings or if we actually have a problem elsewhere which I'm hoping it's just a programming problem <laughs> as I've been through enough of this thing and I want to get it done and completed we're just about done with the back glass uh, that video will be coming up shortly of uh, me doing the back glass and getting it all squared away if you remember that thing was a mess so we'll we'll check it out now what you have to do is your auto up push it down to manual and your screen everything will go black you'll lose all your attraction lights your attract lights attraction lights to attract people to play and your displays will go blank then you push your advanced key button again and that brings up a test for your displays center button up puts it into auto and it'll auto automatically just run through and test them all now you have to leave that button up to advance to the next test which is one and that's our attract lights and that way you can come through and and take a look and make sure all your lights are lit if uh, you don't have a light lit you either have a burnt bulb or a problem on your driver board and as you can see your general illumination lights you can check all them just by looking over and everything's good so you can see we got all of our attract lights lit everything's working leaving the advance up in the auto position not advanced but just the auto it's the auto or manual manual auto up or manual down we're gonna leave that up and we're gonna push it again and that goes to our solenoids and you can see it's testing every one of our solenoids 9 10 and there's our <laughs> okay Here's our layout. 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 is our sound, which we have to work on our on our sound. Now 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 is our knocker. And then the flash of lights is a special relay. And as you can see, all of our solenoids are kicking now. Okay, leaving it in the up position, push it again, and it goes to three. Now this is our test. And this is for our testing our switches. And here's our switch test layout, telling us every one of our switches and a layout of all of our switches on the playing field. Now right now, both balls are out, so 9 and 10 are open. So as you can see, we have nothing. Now we know the start button is switch 3, and that should come up 
stay on because that was the last switch that was tested and all switches are open and then to test them all you do is you just start going through and start testing them like you have 43 44 45 46 47 48 bumpers working 24 23 22 those are all working drop targets 25 26 27 28 29 30 and we should have 33 34 35 36 37 or 36 37 Test our gate. Yep. Spinner's working here. It's number 50. And I don't think, no, there's not one there. Okay, we have one on the back side here. 53. We have one on the other side of it. 15, 55. Okay, and then we have our hold. Our, uh, our hole eject is 12, other side 11. Now we have one up in here that I can't stick my finger up in there to get to it. So we're just going to run our ball up and you can see 49. So that one's working. Whoop, 9. I just dropped the ball in there so you can see that one's working. Then down in here. We'll have our 15, 21, 20, flipper 17, because <laughs> I leaned up against it, 19, 18, 14, the other flipper, ah. that one's not showing up, and that would be left flipper. It's working, but it's not showing up on our test. So let's go down and see. Kicker, kicker. Uh, doesn't. Okay, where's our flippers? Jet bumpers. Okay, right flipper lane change is 17. Oh, okay, so we. No, nope, that's 38. 38 is. Five bank drop target series, 10,000. And back to 17, which is our right flipper lane change. Okay. And then our uh, left. Oh, okay. There doesn't show up any switches for the flippers. And then there's some of them up here, like the plumb bob tilt, uh, ball roll tilt, credit button we already tested. And then the coin switches, we can test them, all but one of them, because we know we have a wire off of that. You know, we have, I mean, let me find it, four and five, and then, oh, six, it did work, okay. Wasn't sure that one was going to work for us or not, because that's the one that's uh, kind of got a wire off of it wire must be for something else so all of our switches are working so we leave this up again just leave that up press it and we go to test four and we'll come down here and we'll, we can start programming our our machine to episode we had this book that we found inside the machine and this was uh, 2720. 22720. So that's 2020. Uh, to start, leave coin door open. Okay. Now here, won't boot. Code 1494 on display one. 1494, uh, whatever, they dash or underscore one. This is not an error code. That is not an error code. When you're in test 
4, which is programming of the machine. 1494. The 1 is note. Notes 1. Uh, I don't think I have my note, note here. Anyway, note 1 just identifies Oh, shoot. You would have to ask me what is it, what it is, huh? Let's see if we can find it. I have all kind of stuff for this machine now. Once you start working on them, you're going to gather up a lot of stuff. Okay, here's our, here's notes. Note 1. Function 00 through 11 cannot be changed from the coin door. However, functions 01 through 11 can be set to zero as described in section four, which they are already set to zero and that's what we want them set at because that's uh, coin shoots and all that. Now the one, like I said, that's just notes one, Oop, back up here, 494 is the number of games that Williams produced. This is the 494th game that Williams made and the one means revision one meaning there was a, only the revision one of this board set now on other ones uh, I think maybe Gorgar or one of the other ones may have a two which means revision two which means they upgraded the System 6 board, which, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is going to be the System 6A. So, it that's all that is. Not an error code. Plain and simple. If When you first get into the tests, uh, and you go to fourth test, and this is what comes up, don't think that's an error code. You know, on this machine, it's the 494th game, which is Scorpion. And I think Gorgar, or one of those, is going to be 495. That's the 405th game produced by Williams. That's all that means. There's a lot of confusion, I see, especially here in this book that they wrote. They're thinking that 1494 is an error code. No, it is not. So we're going to put that to rest. Okay, now... We want to go to 12. So we come down here. This is up in the auto position. It doesn't matter. You can move this any way you want. We want to go to, oh, I see some of those are, oop. now if you push this down, you can back up. So you see 5, 4, 10, 6, 17 and 01. Now those, uh, those are the coins. So we're not going to mess with those right at the moment. Those ones, uh, we'll have to check how to set those ones up. These are the ones that I want to get set up just to make sure everything is working and then I'll I'll look those ones up in, in uh, notes 4, or section 4. And we'll go go with that one then. 35. Okay, one. We want to go to 12. So we'll run through here. 11, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. High score is 500,000. 500,000? 500, yeah, 500,000. Which that's factory. And then current high score to date is number let's go back over is the next one which is hundred thousand that's just factory setup then we get into our replays see our replay on our next one is set at eight hundred and sixty thousand which is wrong we are gonna put in three ball. We're going to go with a three ball play at 370 
thousand. So use your start button and see you can change it. It's going to take you a while but let's see we want 370,000. That's set for first replay. Second replay which is 15. So we're 14. 15 and set at 200. <laughs> and we want it at 580. Same thing. Go with your start button and hold it in or you know until you get close. Oh shit, and then see ya. Excuse the language. Then I screwed up and went too far, so now you get to go all the way around. Which isn't too bad because it's not that far. 20, 50, 60, 70, there. 580. Now those are the only two that are on here. You can add more if you want. Just by going to the next one, which is replay 316, which is set at nil. And we were at 580. Oh, let's go with, there we can set it at 700,000. Or, yeah, 700,000. We can set it at 700,000 and you can set up a fourth one if you want. Okay, now maximum credits, which is 18. If you want to set this on free play, just set this at zero. You set it at zero and then you don't have to worry about it. it. It'll be free play. But we want to set this to 20, which is our maximum replay as it can be on the machine. Okay, now let's go with, okay, standard, standard, ugh, standard and custom pricing control, O2. Left coin slot, center coin slot, right coin slot. I don't have that paper out here with me, so we'll, what we're going to do is we're just going to set them to, to what it has on the paper here, which is factory. 19, standard and custom pricing uh, is 02. So we'll go to too far. Sorry about that. 90. Same thing, just using your start button to change all your settings. Next one, right coin slot multiplier. Whoops, center coin slot multiplier, which is Left coin slot, okay, 19, yep. Now 20, left. 20 is left, and we want to set it at 01, which it's at 01. Center, next one, 21 should be 04, 04. 22, 01, 22, 01. Next one should be 01, which is 23. 24 coin coin units bonus points should be double zero. Now, let's see, high score, high score credits should be three. 86. <laughs> As you can see, somebody has really been messing with this. Oops, shoot. Sorry about that. Went too dang far again. I'm busy talking and thinking about it and we want this set at 03 so when you beat the high score oh shoot that button's touchy so when you beat the high score you will get three games for beating high score which right now is 500 set at 500,000 okay special should be zero Okay, now, 26 is our match. And see, match should be double zero. 
which, okay. 26, match on, double zero. 01 off. We want it on. And if you screw up and hit the wrong button, all you have to do is here we have auto up. If you push it down, you can go back. And where were we? Match 26. See, we're on 20, huh? 26. We'll push. That was down for backwards, back up to advance. And we want this at double zero. Double zero. Match unit 26. Yep. OO is on. So now we're on. Special. The next one should be double zero. Okay, that one is nothing. Whoop, 24. We want double zero on here for special, which means special will light. Okay, 28 scoring awards. 01 or double zero credits at replay score. No, we don't want 71 credits. We want one credit. One credit. Yep, scoring awards. Double zero credits at uh, replay score. Extra ball at replay score is X01. Oops, we want double zero because we want it to match. We want it to match. So we're at 01. We want. double zilch. Interesting. I just learned something else. With this button down, it'll subtract if you screw up. If you put that up to advance, it goes back up. Cool. Learned something and you didn't see that anywhere. Okay, now 28. Now we want 29. 29 is maximum plumb bob tilts. Uh, should be 03. 32. We'll push our, sun, our advance button down. And we want 3. We'll push that back up. Num now here's the important one. That uh, we have screwed up. 29, maximum, whoop, 30, sorry about that, 30, number of balls, 03 or 05, we want, as you can see, it's at zero, I think that's why it's letting you play as many as you want, in fact, it was set at 16, we want this set at 3, okay, test 31, Hope this isn't getting too long for everybody. Test 31, lock ball memory, control, multi-ball control. Zero, zero, no ball, no memory. Multi-ball per ball, okay. Two, multi-ball only once per game. No, we want it to be no, O one one zero zero or O one because then that means you can get as many as you want during one single ball. Test 32 or program 32 time in seconds required to light 50,000 lamp. That should be at 15. Our next three tests should be 15, 35, and 50. So here we want 15 That, and then the next one, test 33, yeah, should be 35. And 
and 34 should be 50 and there's nothing. 26, we want 50. We're just about done, hang in there. And that would then test 35. Top three banks feature memory control. Bonus multiplier restored. This one, uh, no, nothing here on the factory. It's set at 97, which who knows what the hell that is. So we want to, no memory. We want, yeah, we want memory. We want 01, meaning that it'll restore, I th I'm pretty sure it'll restore it from one ball to the next, from five to three times. On three ball, we want it to be a little easier. The no memory are two and three is uh, you restore it to zero. Now we want it to restore memory. We want it to restore five restores to three times. So if you get to five times and then your next ball, it should just drop to three times. I'm thinking that should be it. And that's the end of our programming on here. Now we need to start this and see if everything is going to work like it should. Let's see, we put that ball down in there. And the only way, like I said, to get out of the programming and test mode is to actually shut it off. Okay, we got 500,000 as our high score. Uh, we have six credits. Now we need to see if we can only play three balls. Without the sound, it, it's funky. <laughs> you gotta wait. I know there's a there's a tune it plays. That's why it takes so long for it to step up. Okay, and then we're gonna we'll do a little. Okay. Ball two. Sorry about that. Probably was looking at the ground or something. Our bonus. There's our ball. Okay, now this is ball three. We'll run it up a little bit. You can see. Gives us our bonus. Okay, and this should be it. And it is. Game over. Match was 40. High score and our score to date is 90. 90,000. So we got that all squared away. Now we can play a game at three balls. Which this machine should be set at three ball, not five ball. And I did find the other doinker and I put the center doinker in here. So that's how you program the machine. Now everything should be all set and ready to go for you to play. And I hope you learned something. I did. I learned something. And I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, hit the, hit the thumbs down. I don't care. At least I know somebody watches it then and got this far. Nobody gets this far in any of my videos. So... So, so buttons on your underwear. Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel and I'll bring you more cool, pity, vin, yeah, cool pinball videos. And don't forget to check out my affiliated links down below. There's an Amazon. It goes to a multimeter, but don't worry. You can, as long as you click on the link, you can go anywhere on Amazon, buy anything, I get a small commission. Same with the other affiliates. I'll get a small commission and it helps keep the channel going. And if you have already, thank you very much. I sure appreciate it. Until next time, see ya!